Hello and welcome. Today I'll show you how to create a screenplay template in Microsoft Word. I'm Martin Carlson. If you just want the template, I'll put a download link in the description. However, I do recommend that you watch the entire video. First of all, you will learn a lot about Word that will save you tons of times in the future. Also, you will probably need to tweak the template a little, and in this video, you will learn how. A screenplay format is a common agreed upon industry standard. A lot of really good articles have been written about formatting a screenplay, and I've linked to a few of them in the description. We will heavily use Word's style feature. Styles is a set of formatting choices that is consistent within your document. We will use styles to preset the different formatting objects like scene header, action, and slog lines. I will now show you step by step how to build a screenplay template in Word. If anything is unclear or if you have questions or comments, do add a comment below. And if this video is helping you, hit that like button. As you see on the left hand side, we've added a GitHub page with all the formatting options that we will go over today. I've added a link to the page in the description. To set the margin, we choose custom margin. Here we will set right left and top bottom margin. To make everything a lot easier for us, we will create a base style. A base style is a style that every other style is based on. We know that all other style is 0.12 Curia new, so we set the base style to that. Also, most style have 12 point spacing before, and all style should have single line spacing. Since we will create all our styles from scratch, we will remove all default styles from the style gallery. Note that we are keeping heading one. We will use heading one as base for scene heading. This enables us to use Word's table of content feature. This is however not best practice to add a table of content to a screenplay, but by using heading one, it's an option if you want it. Tell me in the comments if you want a video explaining how to add a table of content. We start modifying heading one. We set the font and spacing as we wanted. To add the numbering, choose Define New Number Format. Remove the dot in Number Format. To set the margin correct, you can play around with left indentation. However, I found that just adding a minus to left indentation will do the trick. Creating the action style is really easy. The action style is 100% based on the base style. Note that style based on is set to normal. And remember to check the add to style gallery checkbox. To be able to capitalize a new word, for example, when you want to introduce a new character, we need to use another type of style. We need a character type instead of a paragraph type style. A paragraph type style will take the entire paragraph and format it. A character type style will only take the selected character. Set style type to character and style based on to underlying properties. Under font, set it to all caps. The rest of the styles are similar to creating the action style. I'll speed up the footage now and you can just pause the video if there's anything you want to see. To make the template a bit easier to use, you can order the styles in the style gallery. Go to Manage Style and assign value. As you can see, the styles are ordered and the text is formatted correctly. To add page numbers, we start by double clicking on the top of the page, add the page number, set it to Align to Write. On the front page, you want things like the movie title, your name, and your contact information. When creating a front page, you don't want it to be part of the page count. Therefore, we will use Word's cover page feature. 
choose a cover page template with as little default content as possible. Delete all the default content. And yes, this can be a bit challenging. And now add all the information you want. As you can see, the front page is not part of the page count. 